Hey everyone, Patrick CK here with a review of Sennheiser CX200 Street 2 in-ear headphones. I've been on the audio experience upgrade kick for a while now. I started by upgrading my in-ear headphones that I use pretty much every day now. Before I would just use cheap dollar store brand earbuds that would work for a while then break for no reason and then get replaced with another. After a few rounds of this I got a little tired of it so I decided to sit down and do a little research into some quality but affordable in-ear headphones. From what I can tell from recommendations and reviews, Sennheiser is a premium brand for audiophiles, which I'm not, but I was interested to see if they offered anything in the four broke people that want a good audio experience section. This is where I found the CX200 series of in-ear headphones. For me, 25 bucks for in-ear headphones seemed a little steep, but looking at some of their other offerings like their IE80s, that are in the almost $200 range, I wanted to give them a try. The almost 1,000 positive reviews and the fact that Sennheiser offers a two-year warranty was also very persuasive. With some reward points, I picked up my pair for $18.66 from the original price of $24.98. They seem to have gone up in price in the two weeks since I got them. With them in hand, there's nothing too fancy about the packaging. It was nice to see that they offered a variety of earpieces to fit different people. We are human after all, so one size does not fit all. The middle size buds did work perfectly for me. These definitely feel like a quality product. Even the cables themselves have a nice almost rubber feel to them. They seem to resist tangling up no matter what I do with them, like rolling them up in a ball in my hands or leaving them to get shuffled around in my camera bag. They would unwind without prolonged hassle. Each earpiece has a letter indicating which side it belong to. The earbuds themselves are incredibly soft to the touch and after two weeks of using them almost 18 hours a day they still feel great even with them covered in my lovely wax. One thing you notice right away is how light they are. You almost forget about them after a while. They fit so well that even while I'm eating, they managed to stay in place, which was an impossible thing to ask for from the cheaper headphones, since just the process of moving my jaw to chew will let them slide out. Not the case with the CX200s. I was even able to fall asleep with them in and not feel uncomfortable when I move around. Now for the actual audio experience. This is something that will vary greatly from person to person, so take my observations for what they are. An average guy with average hearing that upgraded from dollar store headphones. The sound isolation with just the buds in and nothing playing was impressive. It was enough to block the annoyingly loud heating system in the office building that I work in. Right off the bat playing a variety of different music I noticed that the highs are crisp and the vocals aren't drowned out like some of the other headphones I've used. The biggest difference is the bass. You can literally feel it but it's not overpowering to the point that it gives you a headache or takes away from what you're listening to. To put it simply, I love it. Everything from all kinds of music to news broadcasts to YouTube videos sound great. I like to think that it will sound just as good for you, but again, everyone's different. I would highly recommend these headphones specifically and Sennheiser in general, especially if you could get them at a good price or if you could get a chance to try them out before you buy them, which seems to be getting harder and harder, especially these days. All right, this has been Patrick CK. Like and subscribe if you enjoyed this content. Check out some other videos. I expect new videos every week, and hope to see you all next time. Thanks, everyone.